There was a time when book was high up the rank in so far as pastime favorite were concerned. Long before the inventions of televisions and radio, people would turn to books to be woven into the lives of fictional characters. But then come the advance on the 21st centuries and with it various technological advancement along with the things called the internet. Today, information is ubiquitous and with the digitalization of media, futures of the hard copy books lets the library alone looking bleak. If everyone eventually has a portable device with access to volumes of digital books, will the library building still be relevant? This phenomena can be seen in the University of Miami Library, located at the University Campus Center District, beside the UM Transportation Hub and opposite of the Student Center. The existing library design was a huge bulk with less opening and fully relies on artificial lightings and air conditioning in order to cool the book. Students are directly not welcome as the environment inside the library was freezing and deep, not suitable for study and reading, hence it fails to perform its social roles. The new UM library design strategies was to redefine the library as an institution that was no longer exclusively for the books but also thriving social places for the campus. The problem of the existing library organization is a flatness. Departments arrange according to the flaws and is discrete. The unpredictable fits for growth and contains within the flaws. There is no clear boundaries between book comforts which need humidity controls away from sunlight and also humans which need good circulations of fresh air, good natural lightings and views to outdoor. To overcome this issue, instead of demolishing it, we adaptive reuse the building by remaining the structures, take out the walls and wide up the huge podium area for cut yards to allow lights showering into interior spaces and wind to cross through the building. In order to balance the requirements for books and humans, we cannot simplify compartment them into two different parts in the library which destroy the experience of browsing. What we need to do is just to compartment the books within each shelf with the humidifier and allows the human activity area to achieve the human comfort level naturally. The ideas of sections continues loop up from level 1 to level 4, connecting the existing library floors with gentle ramps at the new library wing, forming the biggest sections in the library which we call book ramp. It allows librarians to organize the entire libraries of congress classification systems on one continuous run from core number A to Z. No matter how it grows or contract within the building, it will always have its clarity to it and sort of trails and tears that we all experience in campus library. Careers are just beside the compartment shelves aligns to the windows and the gathering note area always at the turning corners of the book ramp. Digital launch and administrative blocks at the north wings opposite the UM transportation hub. On the upper level are archive floors which archive the important documents, old books, manuscripts which need special environments only access upon request. All the roof area in the library applies double roof system which we call safari roof to protect the library directly from sun heat. A huge veranda supported by series of vertical columns forming a new monumental and dignity frontage for libraries and its new entrance, forming a student parade street in between the, with the student standards where this street will be celebrated for the most of the students' activities. So if we cut through the entire scheme, we will see seven sections of library area which symbolize as the seven pillars of knowledge and in between the spaces are the courtyard that are related to the functions beside it. The journeys of the library started at the promenade link the parade streets to the old library entrance behind. The concourse area is programmed to be unprogrammed. It's like the living rooms of the library which you can do anything inside like here, play chess, yell, read magazines, discussions, dance freely in this space and there's auditorium at the ends that using the concourse area as a pre functions and also garden views as a background. So, toward the left is the Academia Wing. The ground floor is a mixing corridor, a formal launch, pre-function area in between the UM Memorial Museum and UM Art Galleries. The explorations at the book ramp started at level 1 and end at level 4. We will remain existing floor steps and bins and are connected to the new library floor with a gradient 1 to 75 bubble deck ramp, gently bring you up to another floor without realizing it. From the elevations, we can see the ramp started at the new library wing, gently ramp up following the contour at the south elevations and connected to the old library block at the west elevations. North elevations is the elevations from the transportation hub. 
For instance, information gatherer will take the leaf directly to their pre-selected material, while knowledge explorer will go through the book ramp hoping to serendipitously discover resources within the general subject area. Every career seat is either aligned by the windows at the south elevations or facing to the window looking into the courtyard at the north elevations. At the every turning corner, we'll have the group study area or launch sofa for the leisure gathering and also other student activities. In between the book ramp, the courtyards where the pocket space extruded out, we call it alcove balcony. It allows us to get disconnected from the hectic stress world, immerse yourself into the natures and the worlds of books. The book ramp end at the common area, we call it the end launch, is a launch for discussion and gathering notes. Archive is cloistered by the protective shelves with the control ambient lights and humidity level controls, storing the precious source of knowledge and information in the germs box for the generation snacks. All the dehumidifier machines is located on the tops of the roofs, covered with the layers of roof we call safari roof. It's a double roof system made out of the metal decks and the solar panels on, attached on it to reduce the direct heat and also allows the air to cross ventilate it. At the right of the promenade was a digital zone, consists of digital launch, digital corridors, and also connecting to the old library research and study stack behind. In order to preserve the book in best conditions, all the shelves are arranging perpendicularly to the light source and to avoid the directly right source penetrate to the books. The compartmentalized shelves is the compartmentalized shelves are a shelves within a enclosed glass box. Formed by four units of original library shelves, we use this by adding a sliding door tracks with air seal type to prevent air leakage, connecting it with the humidifier ducting at both shelf end. The mechanism of the sliding door is specifically designed with the modular component to flexibly adapt to any kinds of shelves existing in the libraries or in the market. The heavy duty sliding track is designed as the auto close mechanism with soft close functions and to increase the lifespan of track and reduce the noise while sliding. The handle design was a flat L flat bar elegantly attached to the sliding glass panel. The extruder part is not only as a handle for different age and different height of user, but also as a light brakes to partially block the lights from the aisles. This modular system is easy for staff to maintain and replace. Every library will face the same problem, which is the expansions of printed books, which cause the shelves overflow with the books. And the solution is just put on shelves beside or at and other shelves that is uh, completely away from general category, which destroys the experience of browsing. If we study detail commonly used shelves in the library, every row is divided equally according to the average book size, about 15 inch from the small size books to oversized book. And usually there's only few no oversized book on the shelves which cause the space in between is wasted. The question comes when we ask if we could rethink the ways to store the oversized books issues then we are able to squeeze another additional rows for new books. Hence, different kind of scenario, we propose different kind of solutions. For the row only have one book, we design the modular horizontal pocket shelves, which hung from the rows above and allow book to put horizontally on its rows, reduce the space taken when it's vertically put. If there's two or two, three books, we propose to arrange the pocket shelves horizontally stack and put up corner of the rows. Or we can use the modular half shelves that flexibly allow the oversized book to borrow the space from the rows above, squeeze the two rows, yet the books are arranged according to the core numbers. This small innovation proposed demonstrate the flexibility within the single shelves and allow books to expand and contract within the entire book ramp. And it also ensure the experience of flows of browsing is continued even with additional new books. In future, UN Main Library will not only be the social places for the campus, but also be the public realm for the cities. It is a new library typology that balance between the environments of books and humans, and allow you to serendipitously discover not only knowledge but more than that. It is a library within the gardens, and it is the main library of UNISTE Malaya for the future.